All right, there we go. Unnecessary ass logic dive that they're forcing me to do here. There we go. Ah, uh, that's better. One more step closer to the end of this fucking game. Got it. You used the surveillance cameras. You were trying to lure the future foundation by showing them the footage you were recording, weren't you? The surveillance cameras? That's what they were being used for? In the previous killing school life, the surveillance camera footage was broadcast outside of the school. You used the cameras that were placed throughout the entire island for the same purpose. Ding, ding, ding! I was broadcasting the killing school trip live to every member of the Future Foundation. The, the footage you recorded with the surveillance cameras was shown to the Future Foundation? What shall I do? I did a lot of disgraceful things in front of those cameras. You sure did. <laughs> what the fuck? I will never be queen now. Please forget what you saw. So you guys were watching us? Then why didn't you come rescue us earlier? We tried to hack in many times, but the virus within the program blocked us at every turn. Not only that, the Neo World program stopped accepting shutdown commands from the outside. As a last resort, we considered cutting power to the program, but... We didn't know what would happen to the subjects if we cut the power while the program was still running. There's no way we'd jeopardize your safety by taking such a gamble. Even so, we kept trying over and over again, until it was finally possible for us to enter the program just a short time ago. And you came all the way here when you knew it was a trap. I get it. You couldn't just leave them alone. If you saw people dying one by one with your own eyes by the same killing game you guys played, Hulk dictates that you act all high and mighty and say, Oh, I'm definitely gonna stop it this time, right? Hey. Don't tell me that's the reason you made us go through all this. Of course we made you do it for that reason. We orchestrated this game instead of killing you outright solely to show it off to the Future Foundation. We were forced to solve puzzles and riddles just so you could show it off to the Future Foundation? That's why you guys are chumps. You're just the bait I use to catch a big fish called the Future Foundation. But it's not my fault, you know. This game is a fight between the Future Foundation and me. You guys were just instigators in the background. But you guys already knew that when you chose to play this game, right? Just one second, please! That sounds as though we... As though we wanted to come to this world of our own free will. But that's precisely the truth. Huh? You guys chose to be instigators, and you were willingly taken into the Neo World program. To provide the opportunity I needed to push this battle between hope and despair into overtime. That's right. The reason the ultimate despairs began killing each other was set up by the group itself. That's just your imagination. Ah, uh, naive Makoto totally fell for the trap. Oh, and now your face is filled with a lovely shade of despair. Whoa, that despair is fucking obvious. You're here to rescue the assholes who set this up in the first place. Don't go blaming us for this! Thank you! It's all thanks to you guys! This time around, I might be able to fill these guys with despair! We do not feel despair. Even if this was all a trap, we will never regret coming here. And this is the only thing we could do to stop you. But nevertheless, it's all over. We will shut you down and end all of this. You're pretty fucking desperate! Oh, that's pretty fucking obvious. If you don't initiate the shutdown, those future Foundation fuckwits are gonna be trapped here forever! Trapped? Why would that happen? <laughs> Didn't I already explain it? You know, the graduation exam rule? There are two options, graduate and repeat, right? You just have to choose one of them and press it. All of you will cast your vote, and whichever one has the majority will be considered your final de decision. But that's not all, right? In order to pass the graduation exam, there was one more requirement. The other requirement to pass the exam. Huh. Collect all whole fragments. Teacher's final decision. See. As I recall, we also need the teacher's final decision. 
to participate in the graduation program, you need my permission as your acting teacher, you know. What does it mean? It won't end up just a majority vote. After the vote, I'm going to judge every single one of you to see if you're okay graduating or not. So, even if we vote, you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it. Obviously, there's no way I'd let the members of the Future Foundation graduate. So if you can't activate the shutdown, the Foundation will enter the endless life of repeating the grade! Hmm. That's only if the shutdown sequence doesn't activate, right? But that's impossible. Everyone here understands how dangerous it is to release you into the real world. We know that. All too well. I mean, she's been bad-mouthing us this whole time. Oh. Looks like you shouldn't have talked so much. Out of the mouth comes evil, so they say. It's true that we fell for this trap, and that we run the risk of not being able to go back. But what's wrong with that? Thinking we'd back down because of something like that is a huge mistake. That's my line. Thinking your little shutdown plan will succeed is a huge mistake. Huh? You're totally overestimating those chumps over there. There's no way they'll start the shutdown sequence. Why not? Look upon their faces. They look like piglets who were forced to watch their mom roasting on a spit. There's no fucking way they'll initiate the shutdown just to go back to being ultimate despair. That is... Well... Junko, I don't care what you say. I've decided to believe in everyone. It's true that they walked the wrong path before. But that's all in the past now. What I believe in is not their past. But their futures. <laughs> okay. I was totally waiting for a protagonist to fly like that when I crushed it with despair, such ecstasy. <gasps> no matter what you do to me, I will never fall into despair. Ah, uh, wrong, wrong. I'm not the one who's gonna make you fall into despair. That's the mastermind's job, and they'll be appearing very soon. What? Mastermind? Mastermind? Someone else is coming? That can't be. It's just a bluff. You should never make the last character who appears in a detective story turn out to be the mastermind. But I always fall into that pattern, so I was kind of worried about that. Enough already. What are you talking about? Oh well. Let's bring him out with lots of energy. It's Mr. Izuru Kamakura! Izuru... Kamakura? The Founder? That's right. I've seen a person called Izuru Kamakura somewhere. As I recall, he's the Founder of the Academy. I see! Izuru Kamakura? Isn't that the name of the Founder of Hope's Peak Academy? It was written on the placard beneath the portrait of the Academy's Founder. That name. It was definitely Izuru Kamakura, right? However, based on the information I know, the man known as Izuru Kamakura... If I recall, he's a super genius who acquired many talents. He was even called the Ultimate Pope, right? Hmm? Does the Founder have the same name as that Ultimate Hope guy? Is that kind of coincidence even possible? The Future Foundation might know something. Right. How about it, Kyoko? Even within Hope's Peak Academy, there's very little information about a person called Izuru Kamukura. It's a mystery if such a person ever really existed. And not just that. The matter was closed without ever being settled because of that incident. If you do not know, then please allow me. Providing hopelessly skilled explanations is a quirk of mine. The reason Izuru's existence continues to be such a mystery is because the Academy hid it. Why did the Academy hide his existence? If I recall, they were trying to protect their superior talent. They even called it Mankind's Hope, correct? However, that prodigious student ended up killing 13 student council members at Hope's Peak Academy. Izuru is the killer responsible for Hope's Peak Academy's biggest, most awful event. You're the one who set it up, right? Information about Izuru completely vanished after that incident. We thought Junko and Ashima killed them? Oh, don't say such cruel things. 
Izuru Kamakura is very much alive. Isn't that right, Hajime? Huh? What? I, what? Like I said, you're Izuru Kamakura. I'm what now? Huh? Alrighty! If you don't understand, I'll explain it to you till you do understand. You're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura. You're <laughs> I fucking hate you, Juko, that's stupid. <laughs> Hold on! Seriously, what are you talking about? Liar! There's no way. There's no way Hajime is Izuru Kamakura! Izuru is that ultimate hope, right? But Hajime is... That's right. Hajime is one of those reserve course dropouts and has no talent whatsoever. But the fact that he's really Izuru Kamakura makes all this much more hopeless. I'm Izuru Kamakura? That's impossible. Good news, Hajime! Even though you were mocked for being a reserve course student, he had a talent all along! Ultimate hope! How can someone from the reserve course have such an amazing talent like that? In order to hide Izuru's identity, was he hidden in the reserve course? Then Hajime's name is fake? Th there's no doubt I'm Hajime Hinata! I've always had that name ever since I was born! Then Izuru is your fake name? Hey, you weren't lying to us, right? I do not want any more last-minute plot twists! Could it be created hope? It might be Izuru. What the hell? Oh, we gotta find out what they did to me. Okay. Even though you were mocked for being a reserve course student, he had a talent all along. Ultimate hope. How can someone from the reserve course have such an amazing talent like that? In order to hide Izuru's identity. No, come on. Hidden in the reserve Damn it! Then Hajime Fuck your trophy. No doubt. I've always had that name. Then Izuru is your Hey, you weren't I did not want any Could it be created home? That must be it! Oh, never mind. The other one was wrong anyways. Created hope. Are you talking about the hope cultivation plan? Hope cultivation plan. What is that? A while back I saw a file kept by the Future Foundation. For many years, Hope's Peak Academy was researching a breakthrough plan to cultivate personal talent. It's true, it was a breakthrough plan. After all, it was a plan to create the perfect genius. Create? For the longest time, the Hope Cultivation Plan was the earnest wish of Hope's Peak Academy. In fact, that's why the Academy was established. Part of that plan was researching the talents of Ultimates. Because the plan was so important, they adopted the name of the Academy's founder and called it the Izuru Kamakura Project. Izuru Kamakura Project? Just a little while ago, they were finally able to reach the experimental stage of that plan. From there, they set their sights on the reserve course dropouts to use them as lab rats. Why did they use the reserve course as lab rats? A plan to create talent artificially requires test subjects that are wholly lacking in talent. From that group of reserve course students, the one who was finally chosen was... Hajime, who stands before you now. Why me? Because you admired Hope's Peak Academy more than anybody else. You still don't get it. You were used by the Academy. They exploited your feelings of admiration toward hope and talent just to use you as a lab rat. What? See? Didn't I tell you? The moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. Lies. That's definitely a lie. And after many surprises, Hajime Hinata was transformed into Izuru 1.0! Did you say transformed? What did they do to him? 
Unless you're willing to go to extremes, it's impossible to change a normal person into a perfect genius. So naturally, they went to extremes. By directly interfering with his brain, Hope's Peak Academy transformed Hajime Hinata into a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself, known as Izuru Kamakura. Eventually, Izuru became an ultimate despair, thanks to me. But all I did to Izuru was simply break his spirit. That's nothing compared to what Hope's Peak Academy did to him. Not even close. Seriously, it's scary how determined the researchers were to mess with the human brain that much. Doing such inhumane acts that nobody else is capable of with such a calm mind and a steady hand. I admire it so much, it makes my mind numb. By the way, you're just a simple avatar right now. So even if you touch your head, you won't feel the scar. Did they really do something like that? But if you think about it, if Hajime gets out of here, he's gonna be a super genius, right? Like I said, he's not Hajime. He's a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself. D different person? How is he different? All of his senses, emotions, thoughts, and hobbies that interfere with acquiring talent have been excised. Huh? All of his memories of the past have been forcefully suppressed into the darkest recesses of his mind. Huh? Emotions? Thoughts? Hobbies? He doesn't even have a memory? It sounds like he is a completely different person. So that's why it's so surprising that Hajime even exists here at all. Even if he's just an avatar. The Neo World program must have dug up those memories and rebuilt his old personality from data from the past. I cannot help but feel impressed that the Neo World program was able to accomplish such a feat. But as for Hajime, he probably would have been better off if he stayed erased. Then, when Hajime returns to his original state after the shutdown, he'll disappear. D disappear? All that will remain is Izuru Kamakura, an entirely different personality created by Hope Speak Academy. He will no longer be Hajime Hinata. I'm gonna disappear? Disappear. 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 Disappear, 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 disappear. But no matter what happens, it's none of my concern. I'll not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Hmm, really? I don't understand, but... I guess you have the part ways for a while. That's disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There's no reason to meet again. After all, you are boring. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is boring to me. You really don't play along, do you? Hajime? What's that? Me? No. That's... That's not me! That's what you are. That's who Izuru Kamakura is. You're the one who brought me into this world. You're Izuru Kamakura, the mastermind behind all of this. Huh? Could it be? The one who uploaded you into the Neo World program was... It's not me! Just so you know, as long as your brain has been messed with, you can't undo it no matter how hard you try. <laughs> have no way to be saved, you say? But you already know what you must do. I do. I already know how I can be saved. I see. I just need to choose graduate then. Graduate then. Huh? huh? In that case, the Hajime avatar will be uploaded into his real body. So, Hajime will be safely reborn. Truly a royal road to a hopeless happy ending. 
Hold on. You can't do that. Uh, if you do that, everyone who died will be taken over by Junko's alter ego. Like, if you guys don't start the shutdown, the Future Foundation will be trapped here. I can't allow the Future Foundation to sacrifice themselves for the ultimate despairs. Jeez, you should have said so before. You guys aren't honest at all. That's not it. What we're saying is... We have to protect the world from despair, you say? Okay, okay, that's getting so old. Do you really have to sacrifice yourselves just to protect the world in the first place? What if the world's hope is different from your hope? Even if the world is happy, it's meaningless if you aren't happy. That's... Plus, the Future Foundation wants to kill all the Ultimate Despairs, right? Once you go back to being Ultimate Despair, the Future Foundation's punishment time will activate. It would be absolutely dreadful if that were to happen. Not just dreadful. It's rather fucking hopeless, don't you think? <laughs> and can you guys even endure that? Everything that happened here will just end up being a meaningless game. Everything you felt, awe, friendship, love, there won't even be save data left of it. The girl you love and the guy you hate grow weaker and skinnier each day they lay immobilized. And in Hajime's case, his very existence is going to disappear. All because of the academy he loves so much. Will you be able to endure such despair? Who are you going to endure it for? For people you've never met before? For people who don't even appreciate you? Does that sound like hope to you? You can't believe her! That's how she works! That's what she does, so she can lure you all toward despair. There is no reason to listen to her. Hurry up and start the shutdown. Oh, hold on! What is it? Why are we still waiting? Do you still not understand what's going to happen to the real world if Junko escapes? No, I, I was just... How many victims do you think the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is claimed? Right now, it's finally started to calm down. If Junko Inoshima makes it to the real world, countless victims will fill the streets. The world will regress to an era of bloodshed, chaos, and worldwide rioting. So that's why you're telling them to start the shutdown sequence? To prevent that? You're telling them to turn back into ultimate despair and lose all the memories they made in this world. Even among them, there are those who will simply cease to exist. And you're telling them to just deal with it? At this point, this is the only way. No, no, no. There is another way. As long as they choose to graduate, they can pass along their avatar's memories. And everyone here will be able to hold hands and keep on living. Well, everyone who died will be taken over by me, but... Don't you think that's a better fate than being a vegetable for the rest of their life? You guys... You can't buy into this. Think carefully about which is true hope. And which is true despair. Um... What shall we do? You're asking us? You're telling us to decide? Damn it! Why'd it turn out like this? If everyone can overcome despair, you guys should be able to grasp true hope. If our memories up until now disappear, I will not even remember the reason everybody died. Are you really going to let her take over your friends' bodies? You might think I'm a fool, but... I... want to see Peko one more time. If we turn back into ultimate despair... The Future Foundation might kill us, right? We won't let them do that. This is all the Future Foundation's fault. They're the ones who stuck us in this messed up world! For your protection... If Junko escapes to the real world, there will be countless victims again. Uh, I know, but... Everyone's hope is in conflict. Such despair!
can't do it. Huh? C can't do it? I can't choose. You guys are telling us the world's going to be destroyed unless we sacrifice ourselves. And that, I can't decide. I can't choose either one. Hajime! Shut up! Leave me alone! This... this is just too much! Why do I... why do I have to be a part of this? I mean, I'm different from the rest of you. And I don't even have a talent! But even so, I got dragged into this. And now, my existence is going to disappear? <laughs> I don't understand it at all. Both choices are hopeless. How much of ourselves do we have to sacrifice? This burden. Don't you dare make us shoulder it. There's no way we can handle this on our own. Everyone, get a hold of yourselves. It's impossible! For someone like me, it's impossible. I can't choose the future! Hope, despair, do whatever you want. It's not my problem! That's... And there's no answer. So you've chosen to make no choice at all. Jeez. Once again, this went exactly as I expected. I get so hopelessly bored when everything goes according to plan. Oh well, since I have everyone's data, I kind of figured things would play out like this. That is, unless something else hopelessly unpredictable happens. Well, I can say that, but the chance of something convenient happening is hopeless. After all, this is a game. A world where everything progresses with predetermined harmony. Fine, I guess it's okay. You don't have to force yourself to make a choice. A futureless future. Hm, I think it's fine if that exists too. As long as you don't yearn for hope, you'll never fall victim to despair. That goes for me too. As long as I don't yearn for despair, I'll never need to hope for it. So, let's all free ourselves from this curse and stay here as the best of friends. Let's immerse ourselves in this tropical island life forever and ever. Forever and ever 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 and ever. Game reset! And with this, the world will continue to loop! An eternal game, Utopia, sounds like fun! I guess it's fine to stay like this for a while. Young Master, that is a wise call. Yay! You didn't have to forget us! Yes, there's no way I would forget! And with this, Junko's gone! I'm gonna showcase my full cooking ability! Just leave the BGM to Ibuki! Hey, can I take a picture to commemorate this? Want to be awed by the sight of my prowess? I've prepared you a training regiment! Ooh, if you get hurt, let me know! Should I begin with a brief introduction of myself? <laughs> After all this time? 